Warning, this video is indeed not clickbait. Your boy Double H actually won Ruffles, the entire event Ruffles. We will be going over how exactly I won the event, showing every single game I played in this event, gameplay from all of those games from start to finish. So make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more event videos, and let's hop straight into it. The Ruffles event starts in five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. I got bored. I got bored. Come on, cash out. Come on, cash out. Green, let's go. We are. Yo, dude. dude. Oh. oh my god. This is bad, bro. Yo, they have to be boosting, bro. They're on pace for 1.5 million my point. Oh my god. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Yo, they're getting banned. All the boosters are actually getting banned. I'm in third place. Yo, we got to lock in. I got an error code. Invite me back. Invite me back. Yo, the event ends in five seconds. We got to get a four. We got to get a four. Yo, get it, get it, get it. YouTube, it's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. And as you can see, we're gonna be going over every single Ruffles game, every team I played in the Ruffles 4v4 event, and showing exactly how I won Ruffles because this is not clickbait. So make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want more event videos and you want me to win more events. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you can watch these fire videos when, or as soon as they come out. Anyways, we were outside the event center right here. It's a different event center this year. We knew it was gonna be 4v4. We didn't know the rewards, we didn't know what we were getting into so we were, but we had our ruffles builds a lot of people as you guys know builds are very expensive so people did not have ruffles builds we were running two seven threes i'll show you how to make my seven three later in the video we had a uh, cash out as our sharpshooter who had a 99 three in hall of fame limitless just for this event and then a point guard that could pass to him which is vibing so as you can see we run straight to the door we walk straight in and something i want you to notice huh? is cash out's halloween pants okay he has those on we have our lineup two seven threes a 99 sharp and a point guard to pass him the ball right Right, so now we just had figured out the as you can see we, we walk into a game We just figured out that the rewards were if you score 25,000 plus you get your ruffles panel if you score 75 thousand plus you get your ruffles sleeve so those are basically participation rewards right but the top eight players get a ruffles go kart a uniform uh ruffles jersey shorts player panel unlimited jump shot boost and top three even get those rewards and sign nba memorabilia and a hundred dollar gift card so cash out as you saw lagged out of the first game right so we're like okay that's unfortunate. Whatever. Let's end the game really fast. We didn't really have a shooter. You see, Vibin's cold from shooting. We got like no fours that game. And if you guys didn't know how to win ruffles, the more fours you shoot and the better players you play against, the more points you get. And you also get a win bonus if you win. Now, I'm going to talk about how we won and our strategy that we later learned in this video. But look at Cash Out still has his Halloween pants. Let's just point that out right quick. And something that's good this year is you get to see the matchup breakdown. So you get to see people's three-point percentage, which is going to be very important later in the video. Anyways, Cashel gets lagged out again. Look at so we're like, yo, what is going on? Cash out's freaking out. We're like, okay, instead of finishing that game, we're just gonna join immediately because we do want Cash out to win. Now, as you can see, we're getting spam squad invites, so we couldn't get in the game. And you're gonna see there's 60, a bunch of 60 overalls. Look at Eyeball Josh. You're gonna wanna remember that name, okay? Because he was spamming his squad invites, and he is not a very nice guy, okay? Cash out was, uh, had our Halloween pants on again, right there, as you can see. Look at, we're in our game and uh cash out runs around the screen gets a four and look at he was way in front of that four point line something else we're going to be talking about later in this video because people are going to be shooting behind the four point line thinking that's where they need to shoot from when in reality you can just stand in front of it you're still gonna get a four now cash out lags out again and so does our other guard they pulled their ais and we're like yo what is good what is good even another dude on the other team lagged out this dude's holding ball and we're just like yo this is not good dudes are holding ball on us we're not getting fours our teammates are lagging out so we join off cash shell again we haven't even seen how many points we've gotten we haven't seen the leaderboards but we know dudes are boosting this because we saw the 60 overalls um spamming us squad invites and we know those dudes you know what they're doing we know exactly what's going on they're trying to match up with those 60 overalls right so we go off a screen we get a four. Cash out goes off another screen. He gets another four to start this game. It's looking good. We're up eight to two. Let's get right. And then he lags out again. So it's like, yo, that is now four games in a row. What is good with this Ruffles event? We're convinced that it's something wrong with the event. We were playing goat tiers this game. So we lose with our AI, of course, because that's our shooter. That's our offense right there. And look it, we finally look at the point system. There's a win bonus, there's my points. We get like nothing, 6,000, that's terrible. 
you do get a win bonus for losing still, but you get a way higher win bonus if you beat them, right? And you get a way higher my points if you get fours. We weren't getting fours. So we finally get another game. As you can see, Cash Out took off his pants. If you saw that, he took out the Halloween pants, okay? So let's we're gonna talk about that after this game. We get into a game, Cash Out's cherry picking, just like every ruffle strategy. You do want someone cherry picking to get fours, but that means you have to play a three on four defense. Now, what we struggled with in the beginning is how to play that defense. Look at how far in front Cash Out is in front of the four point line. Rams don't understand that you could be way in front of that and it still counts as a four, okay? And what people that you're gonna go against in this in this ruffles tournament don't understand is they just look at the four point line as another three point line. Oh, you have to be behind it for it to count as a four. Another fun fact, there is no three point, like there is a three point line, but you don't get three points from shooting behind it. You can only get a four or a two. So a lot of people were just taking a bunch of twos, missing wide open fours. And what we didn't realize, look at this dude's missing wide open fours. But we started to realize soon is that you want to guard all the twos. You want to guard the corners. You want to guard the dunk. So they only, the only open shot they have is the four. Because they'll shoot the four. Look at this guy. He gets behind the line, shoots wide open, misses. And what we started to realize is, yes, this is 2K23. You have to green your shots to make your shots. Look at Vibe and makes, shoots a two right there. We're pissed about that because, you know, the more fours you shoot, the more you get. Look at 12,000 points for shooting a bunch of fours. We get 24,000 total. So we're like, okay, we're getting somewhere. Once again, Cash Out doesn't have Halloween pants on. And what we realized, as you guys see the matchup breakdowns, we're playing level 40s, is that he was locking out all those first four games because of the new Halloween pants that had just come out and he was wearing them. And I guess the 2K servers couldn't handle it. Anyways, we were playing a bunch of locks. So good thing we figured that out. We're like, okay, we're a little behind than we'd like to be with those four lagouts that start. So anyways, let's try to play catch up game. Of course, we played try hard as one of our first catch up games. Cash out gets to open four. He gets it to go. Don't know how he greened that. I mean, it is a 99 three pointer. That is the power of a 99 three. But look at how these guys are playing. They obviously don't know how to win ruffles. So they don't care about winning ruffles because they're just going for twos. They're just going for the win. Cash out's cold from just chucking fours on this team. And they know what we're trying to do. Now this guy's play take, so this guy's going to be shooting from way deeper than he should be. His play take is pretty nice in this game. But yeah, so we're like, okay, we're going to lose this game. Let's just shoot our fours and maybe make a couple more fours so we can at least get a, some kind of points from shooting fours. Because what a lot of people don't understand in this, as you can see, we're about to lose this game right now, is it does, it's not about winning in ruffles. We lost like four or five games this time. I see dudes talking about, oh, we didn't lose a game all four hours. That has nothing to do with winning ruffles. The four pointers are the most important and getting games fast. Whether you lose or win, just get the game out of the way and get your fours in. So this is the first time I'm checking the boards. And as you can see, first place has 250K in 45 minutes. And I'm only at 80K. I could be a lot higher without those lag outs, but goddamn, we know those dudes were boosted. We knew they were. There's no way 250K in 45 minutes. He's on pace for 1.5 million ruffles points by the end of this event. That's crazy. And remember that I told you that 1.5 million by the end of the event. That's what he's on pace for. Anyways, we get 26K right there. And this is when we found out our method, like I said earlier. As you can see, we're playing a 7-3 right here. These guys somewhat know what they're doing, but look at their three-point percentages. That's what we were looking at every game. These guys' three-point percentage was pretty good. Now, it's 18 to 14. They have team take. We're playing a couple level 40s, some high levels. They know what they're doing. They're running a somewhat of Ruffles lineup. They have a 7-3, but we have two 7-3s. Okay, Cash was on Cole from chucking fours because that's all we care about. We don't care about losing or winning. We want our fours, but right here, we decide, okay, let's take the two because we do have a lot of fours already in this game. We couldn't get back on defense, so we give up a two. So we're like, okay, we're going for the win right because cash out's cold we're probably not going to get a four on this possession we're going to take a two then we're going to get a stop and try to get another four so cash out runs into the paint i cut i get a heavily contest that's why we have two seven threes and so dunks it and it's 20 to 18 we need to stop i'm going to let y'all listen into the live uh reaction right here oh my god shooting it vibing oh, oh, oh my god please be a it's off left 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 we need a four. We need Vibin, this is you. Oh my god. To me, to me. Yep, yep. We need Vibin somehow. The screen's with me. Oh my god. That's it, that's it! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! So as you can see, we won! We got the game winner. 27k. Look at we got 22k points for that. 22k because they were good, they have high opponent strength, and we got a lot of fours. Now look at these guys were shooting very good from three point as well. 45, anything above 45% in my opinion is good. So they were they were a good team. Now this dude gets a dunk. That's the first dunk they got all game. So we're like, damn, 20 to 14. We we probably lost this thing. More tryhards, right? 
cash out somehow brings up yellow four point 20 to 18 all we need is the same thing as the last game a stop at a four we get this stop he misses wide open i throw it down i'm like yo we need a four he low he could have shot that with blinders but i'm like okay let's reset let's get a four the lockdown goes ahead spam his eggs gets this steal and they up, uh, end up winning now that's already what three losses i'm telling you losing doesn't matter we were just getting my points look at even off a loss 13k that's not terrible it's not horrible right so we go right back in we're like okay we need a we don't have our defensive method obviously we're getting fours up we're getting fast breaks but we still don't have our defensive method right that we need look at cash shots also just like frustrated this dude's airballing he's not making his shots but we start to find a rhythm here we're getting inbound steals these dudes were missing fours all game and we win 24 to 4 right now this is what i was talking about earlier when the randoms you know if you leave them open look, we get thirty-three thousand for that i think that was our best game of the whole event we're playing more high levels right here i don't know when i say high levels oh you guys are level 40s in my book anything gold tier or higher is a high level you know what i'm saying but look at we were leaving these dudes wide open for fours and baiting in the shoot look at this dude just shot a heavily four in front of us and we grant it. You see, they're cold too. And what we started to realize is, okay, if we if we have Vibe and guard the left corner, we have Enzo guard the right corner, maybe bait in them into shooting worse shots. And then we have me sitting in the paint. They're not going to get a two. As you can see, we're playing goat tiers right now. They're not going to get a two, right? So that means they're going to have to shoot a four. And if they're dumb enough, they'll back up behind the four point line, shoot from way deeper than they have to and not make it. We get the rebound. We throw it down a cash out and it's an easy four. And those games are going to end faster. And that's what they were doing. Look at this. We leave him wide open. He shoots it. Look at, we have Enzo baiting. We have me in the paint. I don't even know what Vibe is doing right here. At this point, he didn't even need to play defense because it's 20 to zero. They haven't even scored a four yet. And look at this dude's like almost like holding ball at this point. Then it, watch, he finally passes. He passes the four. Another wide open four. Misses again late. He's cold from missing so many open fours. Now, finally, he gets on the line and grains an open four. Their first four of the game. But who cares? We have how many points from them missing fours? 20 straight points from just getting the rebound off their miss and throwing it down court to cash out cherry picking. That game ended hella fast. And we got 27K for it. And that was our strategy from there on out. So as you can see, 20 to 8, we're trying to get a couple off-ball screens. This is how our off or our half court set looked when we didn't um just get a fast break. We would set some off balls, a couple on balls, try to get cash out open for three. Look at 29k. And I didn't know how to check the leaderboards yet until right now. Um, you could actually check in between games. And I was 24th place, 295K. But look at these dudes in the in the first, third, second, third. They're, they have twice as many points as me. And, and we're, you know what I'm saying? And what we realized is like, wait, are they slowing down a little bit? Because they were on track to have like 600K by now. And that was the first time we saw boards in a while. So we're like, okay, let's keep an eye on that. We're not sure. But anyways, this is a closer game right here too. We were playing some sweats, 20 to 16. He misses a wide open four. That was a good shot too. So I just throw it down to Enzo. I'm like, yo, we might have to just take the two because we got to just get out of this game. These guys are sweating. Cash shell pump fakes on an open four, unfortunately. We're like, okay, we got to get him open. Set a couple off balls, wide open four, and he greens it. Yo, our half core offense is starting to look better. We're starting to know the defensive strategy against Randis. Look at this guy is still moving. So he's at 518K right now, and I'm at 20th place. I'm starting to move up a little bit. So I'm like, okay, I'm like, we're moving fast. Like, hey, we actually have a shot at this, right? That's what I'm starting to think, even though it's such a bad start. And we're starting to do really good on offense. We're getting cash out wide open for fours. And whether he's missing or not, as long as he's getting open, he's going to make a, a, at least half of them, right? Now, look at these dudes. He's, we have Vibin, you know, guarding the corner. We have Enzo baiting at the top of the key, and he misses a wide open four. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get that rebound, but that was our defensive scheme against people that didn't know each other. Now, when we played level fours, obviously, a lot of our stuff is half court offense. Now, we just ended the game right there because we couldn't get a four because those dudes' defense was kind of annoying. Anyways, 27K, but yeah, that was our offense against randoms. You know, people are just walking. What we have to understand is people are just walking in and playing with anybody, right? So they're just going to, when they see a four, they're just going to shoot it, right? And they're going to miss it a lot. And what these random people that are playing with randoms probably don't have a high three point percentage. As you can see in the beginning of the game, these dudes were getting lanes. We're just trying to end the game. It's 18 to 8. We already taken some twos because these dudes' defense were crazy. But look at the offense. The half court offense is starting to look beautiful. Is it not, y'all? Is it not? Like the off balls, we're really sharing the rod, getting, you know, setting plays up in 25K again. Now look at, we're playing goat tiers level 40s. So once again, if you win and beat nope. goat tiers, it's free. And look at, 
They were ass. We gave them wide open fours. We gave them wide open fours. They couldn't make any. You saw the dude was cold. We got 33K from that too. Like people have to green their shots this year. And some of them are dumb like those level 40s, even though they were so experienced. They're shooting from way behind the four point line. And of course, they're going to miss that. The four point line is already deep enough and you're going behind it. Look at Vibin's right in front of it. And that's good. If he made that, that would have counted as a four. You're going to see a lot of fours that we shoot that are in front of the line that are going to count because as long as some of your, some part of your foot is on the four point line, it counts. Look at how in front of my, cash out is right there. Boom. It counts as a four. You know what I'm saying? And that was our offense. Look at, we're leaving dude wide open for four. He misses. And he was even on the line right there. And then I just chuck it down with my 90 pass, 90 pass accuracy on this build. Magic Johnson uh, passing style. And we get a four. Now, even sometimes when they finally make a two, we have to play half court offense like this because they're obviously they're going to, you know, try to get a stop on us. But, you know, our off balls are crazy. We have Hall of Fame brick wall and all that stuff. 25K again. So at this point, we're getting like 20 to 30K a game. And then look at the new boards. This dude is at 700K almost in first place. But I'm 11th place. I'm catching up. Uh, we're going crazy. We're on time and we have officially found our method. Leave these dudes open for four. And this is, might be the easiest ruffles of all time. Look at this dude catches shoots, shoots it immediately. I get every rebound. I got a 99 rebound on this build. Just chuck it down the cash out. I have Hall of Fame floor general, needle threader, all that good stuff. You know, sometimes I'll miss, but we have another 7 3 down there to get the rebound. Look at, we're baiting. He's, look at how deep he shot that, bro. It's free as this event is so free. The best defense is just guard the two and play no defense on the four. Look at, look at how open all these guys are. We're not even guarding anybody. And they're just missing over and over and over and over and over. Look at these dudes are just chucking and just missing every time. Look at this. There, no one's on defense except me. And they're just missing every shot. Dude, they still have zero points. We've played no defense. Then they try to get back, but it's like, okay, they may as well not even get back. We're wide open. Look at it. Shoots another wide open four. Misses. This is a 24-0 of us not playing any defense except the first possession. They didn't score, y'all. I want you to think about how bad that is. We got 31K points, and we didn't play defense except for the first possession. Look at First place is in 750K. I'm in ninth, but I am... The first place is almost double the amount of points in front of me because they're boosting. Double the amount of points. Just think about that. Like, how is that even possible? And we're going so fast, too. Look at Once again, we're leaving them wide open. They only have four points. They try to get back. These dudes are just giving up at this point. Some of them are just standing there because it's, it's over. They can't hit a four. They just sat, sat there for five minutes and made one four out of, like, ten. Okay? 29K again. And look at I want you to notice something. McKenna has 749,000 points. And his points are going to freeze. And some of those other dudes in the top eight are going to freeze. But look at We get error coded. So now we have to join back. Uh, it's just a whole fiasco. And I invite my teammates. I walk in. And it doesn't put me in my teammates. You see, he was waiting for teammates in the top right. So we have to load in again, invite them, get back in. So that's a setback. Um, anyways, we get back into the game. These guys suck too. Most of the games you're going to play is going to be people that don't know each other. And they can't shoot a four if you leave them wide open. And it's just a fast game. You know, it, it's bad. It's crazy how easy this event is sometimes. Anyways, 749k for first place. Now, there was three or four dudes in the top eight that we had just got word. We're like, okay, they're slowing down. How, they haven't added any points to their total in like fucking, like, you know, 20 minutes. What's going on? So what we realized is 2K had finally taken action. Shout out to 2K. Finally banning boosters. They were banning boosters mid-event. So anyone boosting the event got banned and was getting banned as soon as they started boosting in this event. So we're like, okay. Now we really got a shot. I mean, I'm about to be top eight. And look, I'm, I'm sixth place now. And a lot of the people in front of me are boosting and they're going to be frozen for the rest of the event. I'll pass them by the, the event ends because they're banned. They can't play any more games. They got banned for boosting. So we're like, okay, not only can I win this event now, but maybe we can squeeze in cash out or Enzo in there as well. It's going to be tough for cash because he lagged out the first four games. But we're going to try. Look at, we're leaving dudes wide open for four. He's cold from shooting wide open shots, y'all. He's shooting wide open, he's cold. Look at, we're even messing up sometimes. This dude's shooting wide open again. Misses again. Guys, they have four points. Look at, we even throw a turnover. Like there's a lot of mishaps that happen, but look at, we just leave him open. Enzo baits sometimes. Misses again. 
I'm telling you, it's like playing NPCs in this game. Oh, look at Cash Out still misses again. The game's just taking long as hell for no reason. Look at misses again. We could have been ending this game, but it doesn't matter. Why? Because we know we're going to get the ball down fast. We know we're eventually going to get that four. We just need to calm down, right? Because these dudes can't shoot. Two, a lot of these dudes in 2K23 can't shoot. I know a lot of y'all watching the video probably can't shoot in this game because it's hard to shoot in this game. You, you got to green it to make it. Anyways, you can see a lot of those boosters, their points are still frozen. So and now it's just catch up game. I'm already sixth place. I'm already top eight. So all I have to do is hold my place and maybe go for top three because yes, top eight gets those uniforms, those sleeves, their player panels and all that. But top three gets like signed autographs, a hundred dollar gift card. But look at, we get into this game and this dude's holding ball. Our second ball holder already, bro. We had one when we when we first started. Now we got this dude. Who, who knows? He may be AFK, but he's he's holding. It doesn't matter. He's holding the ball. It's making it take longer. So we're like, okay, we're playing a three on four offense because he's just standing still. It's kind of awkward. Cash out dots vibing. It's a four. But yeah, our hardest offense is half court offense. The better defense we play, the better offense because we just get a wide open four because we have cash out cherry picking twenty four seven. So. You know, we get open right here at the last play, a little off ball, wrap around movement, and we destroy them 24 to 2 because that dude was holding ball half the game. Then he finally got kicked out for holding ball, and then we just left them open for four and they couldn't hit a shot. Now, look, at I'm sixth place, 574K. I'm still, bro, I'm still like 300K behind in first place because they were that far ahead this early on in the event. At this point, we're like halfway through the event. Um, anyways, and remember, if those dudes kept boosting, they were on pace for 1.5 million my points. I want you guys to remember that when this event ends 1.5 million okay that's how what a that's what boosting looked like i even leave this guy wide open and guess what he misses again it's crazy what y'all are watching you guys are like bro you're not even playing defense why can't these guys hit a shot because I, I, they, they're not good look at this dude finally greens and guys it, the whole game goes by when we when we leave these randoms open how many points do they usually score when we're just leaving them wide open for four and only guarding the two and by the end of the game enzo and then and, and um vibin are not even guarding the twos because at that point they're like okay we have to shoot fours we're down 20 to six you know so then we don't even have to play defense by that last possession oh when it comes to guarding the two anyways we're sixth place we have a bunch of points like i said it's catch-up game simple as that um and yeah so we're just trying to lock in once again, we always look at the, the, the three-point percentage. Look at this dude shooting 10% from three, y'all. What do you think we did to him? Leave him wide open. He, this dude airballs the first possession. Wide open. Now, we, we were missing this game. So, they get a wide open dunk. We miss again. You know, there were some struggles when it came to missing because, yeah, it is hard shooting. We're not going to make every shot, too. But we finally get a stop right here. Cash out wide open four. Misses. Cash out wide open four. Misses. Now... You know, I know I'm showing cl clips of cash out missing, but I have to show clips of us, our success and, you know, our falls during the event. And sometimes cash out would miss. And that's fine because he's making all of our shots, basically, besides, you know, a couple of fours from vibing. But yeah, there's going to be struggles. You're not we're not going to sit here and make all of our fours. Right. And uh, the randoms are not going to make most of their fours because they shoot 10 percent from three, according to this game. And some then we get frustrated. We start shooting heavilies. We start shooting from deep and i'm like okay just set it up you're wide open take your time and boom we get a four finally eight to four look at this dude walks up to the four because no one's guarding him he even gets a full bar but still misses because guess what he's too deep for his build oh, that's another thing no one's making ruffles builds i said this earlier in the video we have a 99 three-pointer guy that's making our fours these guys are probably six nine meta builds with an 85 three maybe even bronze or silver limitless they're not gonna make this and look at this dude shooting a half bar wide open bro these guys can't make a shot bro when we were playing full-on defense at the beginning these guys were these same dudes were getting twos and competing with us now we're not playing any defense at all basically and they can't score right they can't score i'm telling you if you want to win ruffles run our lineup and don't guard the four most of the games you play are going to against people that just walk in by themselves and are playing with randoms yeah you'll play sweats every once in a while but you'll beat some of them as you can see, we're playing a bunch of level 40s this game. Goat tiers. This is good opponent strength right here. So we need games like this. Win or lose, as long as we get fours against the tryhards, we'll win. Look at first play, though. Air ball. You know, we're down two to zero. These guys are going for twos. I'm like, you know what? Cash out. We got to take a two. There's three seconds left. You've already chucked up a bunch of fours. We're not making them. We're not getting open. These dudes know what they what we want to do. They see us on the leaderboards. They know we're only going for fours. So guess what? They're going to only guard the four. So 
that you know we're not gonna know but like he's just chucking shit we got the seven three down there to get rebounds so i'm like okay let's take a two i shoot a heavily ends against the rebound he shoots a heavily that goes in somehow it's four to four so we're like okay let's just leave these guys wide open even though they're sweats because we're like okay we're cold and guess what they started missing so we're like oh my god there's no way it's gonna work against these guys now eventually they started hitting their shots they started shooting twos because they couldn't make their fours. so we ended up losing but even the sweats could not make fours when we were leaving them wide open our defense was better against those sweats when we were leaving them wide open compared to them actually being guarded until they they literally had to start taking dunks in mid ranges to score which is like okay whatever we'll just get out of the game we'll get our 10k one points we'll move on so we're playing level 40s again we're down eight to zero cash out's cold because he missed a bunch of shots in the beginning so he's like okay i'll take a two get off cold eight to two and look at we start not playing defense on this team too and they're sweats guess what they start doing they start shooting fours they start missing wide open we start getting fast breaks we start getting open fours and we're like oh my god there's no way this method is actually working against sweats too now they started taking twos because they could not make their fours just like the last low 40 team as you can see they're just forcing twos literally forcing them now we're down 16 to 8 we're trying to get fours because we're like okay we lost this game but you know Casho shoots that I'm like you know what let's take the two because we missed so many fours in a row at that point it's just like okay let's just score we're going for another four right here. Cash out actually gets a good look here. He's going to green the 12%. It's 18 to 14. So now we're actually back in the game. 20 to 14 because they keep taking twos. Cash gets open again. It's 20 to 18. We're like, okay. Even if we lose this game, look at, he forces a layup. Even if we lose this game, we got so many fours. We're going to get, you know, good opponent strength too. We're going to get good points for this. Look at Cash out. Wow, with four on the line too, but greens it. But it doesn't count. He was, his toe barely was above the line. It's 20 to 20. I'm sprinting back on defense the whole time. And I still only get back because I have a 25 speed and I'm 7-3. So we actually lose that game. But it's okay. We still get, you know, 16K for losing? It's really, really good. I'm not going to lie. That's a lot of points. So we're like, we're, we're fine with that. Because at the end of the day in Ruffles, as you guys see from this gameplay, most of our games, we're playing basically people that don't know each other. You know, we'll play a sweaty level 40 team every once in a while. If we lose, that's fine. As long as we're forcing fours and getting, you know, 11 to 16 K who cares, right? Who cares? You know, we'll get the 16 K game every five games and we'll get the 25 to 30 K for the rest of the games. And we'll get a bunch of points from that. And that's exactly what we were doing. So as you can see, playing some silver tiers, these dudes couldn't shoot. I mean, we were leaving them wide open. Look at they're wide open. They have zero points and we were leaving them open the whole game guys they didn't score they didn't score we left them open the entire game they missed every shot every rebound they missed i just chucked it down to a wide open four because they were on offense how are they gonna get that far back when we're cherry picking right same thing here i mean some of these teams score like six or eight points but once again bro it's like it's like playing wreck have you ever played randoms with a wreck it's a pain Ruffles has four players. The more randoms you're playing with in the same court, the more painful it is for these randoms to play. And that's exactly how it is. They're just shooting wide and forth. Look at how fast I took it down, too, with my 90 passing style and all my Hall of Fame passing badges. It just chucked this down wide open four. And boom, within a half a second, we have a four right after you miss a wide open four. Now, this game was close 18 to 18. Cash shots on cold from, um, you know, just chucking fours because we weren't getting a lot of fast breaks this game because, you know, it is risky sometimes not playing any defense on the four you know sometimes they'll go ahead and get a dunk and sometimes they'll make a four look at he shoots a full white missed it somehow i don't know how he missed that that was a really good time shot 18 18 and we're still banking on them missing wide open fours isn't that crazy like we're really gambling anyways we try to go for a two here we end up forcing it and not getting it and it's like yo what are we doing this is bad they get a wide open two they shoot it green once again, we're just playing no defense. We think no defense equals the best offense and also faster games. We do turn over the ball and we do get another wide open shot up. And this is going to cause us in a loss. But what we have to understand is, you know, we don't really get a lot of losses doing that. And we still get 15K, which is pretty good for a loss. And we have to, you know, at this point, we're, you know, living and dying by the four of people missing it. The opponents missing it. So, you know, we'll die by it sometimes and we'll live by it most times. So anyways, I get error coded. We get right back into the event. There's 30 seconds left, and I'm in fourth place at this point. It actually shows the timer top left. I'm in fourth place. I, if I finish this game in time, 
I get third place and get the top three rewards. So we're like, okay, lock in, bro. Cash out misses wide open. Early. Shoots another two. Late. Shoots another two. Passes to Enzo to go up. And we're like, okay, we need a four to end the game. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're like, damn, that's tough. He greens the open two. It's 18 to 14. And the game, the event didn't end yet. So we're like, okay, and get it hit a four. Maybe it'll count. And what we later realized after it says event ended, we get 16K and it did count. I did finish top three. And we're going to show you guys all the rewards right now as it says event ended. We get kicked out in the first ruffles ever, October 1st. And here we go. It's time to get our rewards. Now, I'm going to show you guys my entire team's builds at the end of the video. But before we do that, we obviously have to show the rewards, the standings. So this is the old time leaderboards, but there's only been ruffle, one ruffles. But this was the actual leaderboards. I mean, it's the same thing. I got third place, which gives me the top three rewards, as you can see right there. Uh, for each event, I get a $100 gift card, Ruffles Go Car, all that good stuff. And I also get the top eight rewards, which we're about to show you in a second. But the top three rewards, I still haven't got yet. I think they're going to email me soon. So we'll see about that. I did get the Ruffles Go Car, but um, the other, like physical stuff i have to wait for an email for but yeah we did get third place now i want to show you guys a screenshot on the screen this was the leaderboards two hours into the event this is a four hour event now at this time i probably had like four hundred thousand points look at first place they had almost 800k now there was multiple people in this top eight boosting that got banned mid event. They started tweeting about it. And this is when we really put the, our foot on the gas. Cause we knew, oh, we have a real shot at this. If we just have to pass these guys, cause they're not gonna, they're not gonna be able to play another game for the rest of the event. Cause they got banned. You know what I'm saying? So if these people kept boosting, these people would have gotten anywhere from 1 million to 1.5 million my points on ruffles because they were boosting yeah yeah. no the top eight right here is all legit because none of these people got banned and none of them were even close to the final score that the dudes that did get banned would have got which would have been at least a million if you look at past ruffles anybody that wins gets 1.3 1.5 million which is pretty high like these are pretty average scores like 771k at eighth that's not even that much compared to last ruffles 800k not too much 900k that's that's a lot but that's first place you know what i'm saying anyways shout out to 2k for betting the boosters because that's the only reason we won this event but anyways let's go ahead and show the rewards now, I didn't upload this video the day of Ruffles or the day after Ruffles because I didn't actually get my rewards until today, the day I'm uploading this video because I got an error code right after I got um, out of the event. And then I went back in and I didn't have my rewards because I wasn't there when the event ended. Anyways, I finally got my rewards. As you can see, I went on today. Update required. I'm going to load up my player. And as you can see, we're going to come out of the tunnel here. And at first I was like, okay, where's my like ruffles thing where it shows like congrats. I thought I was done. I was like, there's no way I didn't get it again. Right. And I knew I only had three out of 20 events earned on my legend status. So I was like, okay, I should probably check that. But usually a thing pops up. I'll show someone else's, I guess that says, yo, congrats. You won ruffles. Here's the rewards. I didn't even get that. So look at that. It says four out of 20. I'm okay. I have to have the rewards. Because now it says I won the event finally. So I go ahead, go into my clothes. I do have the Ruffles banner finally. So I'm like, okay, that's got to be a sign that I finally got them. So I go to my vest for my jersey, go down and boom, the Ruffles jersey is here, man. Let's go. Got the Ruffles rewards. You know what I'm saying? We were going crazy. Now, unfortunately, anybody that got sleeves, that was just participation. But you only get one, which is kind of tough. But we have everything, bro. We got the ruffle shorts, the ruffles jersey. We putting on the ruffle sleeve right there. Uh, we also got the go kart as well. We have the banner too. Yo, these rewards were nice for top three. And I get NBA memorabilia and a hundred dollar gift card. I'll probably update y'all whenever I get that stuff on Twitter. So make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. And we have unlimited jump shot boost. Look at that. Unlimited on all of my builds. That is so fire. Yo, I'm happy about these rewards because these are definitely a W. If you guys want a video of the power of unlimited boost, drop a like on this video and leave a comment below because I got y'all with that.
Now, lastly, before we end the video, I'm going to show you guys all the builds we use for Ruffles because I know you guys are probably interested if you want to win Ruffles. This is Enzo's 7-3 build. This build probably looks terrible to you. Honestly, I wouldn't make this 7-3 anyways, but he has this build at 99 from Breck. I mean, it has no finishing, no shooting, no physicals. Here's his badges, though. I mean, he literally made a TikTok on this build and it blew up for how bad the build was. So... I don't know if I would make that one, but yeah, that was the other 7-3 center build. Uh, now we look at Vibin's build. This was the point guard that was dotting a cash out for fours. He had a 6-2 build with a 94-3. He was also shooting fours as well. No defense, not really in finishing. Basically just a 6-2 play shot that could shoot, dribble, and is fast. Here goes the badges he was using in the event as well. Uh, so yeah, he had a bunch of passing badges on just like me, a couple defensive badges, off ball badges. Here's cash outs build. Uh, he had a 99 three. Um, here's his stats. You can see his weight, height, and wingspan at the top there. Yeah, 99 three. Here goes his badges as well. He had hall of fame, limitless hall of fame, agent threes as well. There's his badge count at the top, right? For you guys, uh, take a screenshot as well. And then here's my build step-by-step, step. um, really fast for y'all this is the 7-3 center build that was getting every round darting magic johnson passing style passes down the court right to the four in an instant so yeah we went eight foot one wingspan seven foot three player here's all the stats you want to copy these down i put four extra on finishing and one extra on defense for my plus five badges here were my takeover options and that's going to give me a comparison to wilt chamberlain and all that good stuff i think what was the build name let's go ahead and see here y'all make sure to drop a like for me putting the extra builds at the end of the video because i'm already knowing y'all are gonna want to win ruffles some of y'all yeah so the build name is a break starter and then the badges right here these were the badges i was using now obviously i have extra badges that i could put on but those were the ones that i you know earned after ruffles so i'm not gonna put those on right now and then these are the stats i had going into ruffles as well but anyways y'all hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video w event video in the book hopefully we can win some more events later on in the uh you know 2k23 cycle appreciate y'all coming through to the video drop a like if you enjoyed drop a like if you want more event videos subscribe to the channel if you guys know we just hit 700k thank you guys so much for that grateful for all of the new and og supporters and yeah it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace